Hi YouTube friends, it's Carol, Plain Vanilla Grandma. This sewing machine is in working order. Yay! Hi guys, it's Carol. How are ya? I'm doing good. Um, the sewing machine Kathy sent me, the brand name is Janome, and I searched on line and I found a Janome dealer here at a sewing store that sells fabric and things and so we called and the lady said she would not charge us if Casey could bring the machine in and she would show Casey how to get that bobbin and the, that there's three pieces how to get that all back in there where it stays and doesn't wad up the thread so hallelujah we're in business <sighs> I went to Joann's. This is, was the last day of a sale, and I got some things. I won't be able to go do that kind of shopping very often, but today it was going to be free because my grandkids, I have lots of toys for them. Um, I have, I, I don't know if you're familiar with kids' toys, but Little Tykes and Step 2 make... Um, kitchens and tables and chairs and wagons we've got a wagon that is like brand new because it's only been pulled in the apartment uh, we have a roller coaster we have table and chairs and we have a kitchen so Casey's going to put those online and and they'll sell real quick so that will pay for today so today is free let me show you what I got this batting, uh, it's made to go in the microwave, and uh, it, it was $9.99 a package, but today it was half price, so I got three of those. Um, how much fabric is in here? One yard by 45 inches. So I got three of those because I want to make cozies for our entire family. Um... My daughter-in-law likes yellow, so I got this fabric to make uh, bowl cozies out of. I was going to put those two together. Then, oh, let me tell you, well, I'll do this first. I got this. Now, this is flannel. I don't know if that was a mistake or not, but I got flannel to make my grandson and granddaughter pillowcases. I got this for the main portion, this for a contrast, and this... There's something called a burrito me method of making pillowcases that I'm going to try. And it's got a main piece, a contrast, and a contrast. So um, I'm going to do that for Rhett's pillow. For my granddaughter, I got this for the main part, this for a contrast, and that. Wow, me looking at that, that looks red, but it's actually the exact same color as this hot pink. So that's a pillowcase for Taylor. And then I just loved this. I just loved this fabric. I think it's beautiful. So I got a yard of that. And I got a fourth a yard of... When I look at this through the lens, it doesn't even match. And it's really a beautiful uh, purple. But it looks gray. But he, I promise me. I promise you, these are, this is beautiful. I'm not sure what I'll do with it, if it'll be cozies or if it'll be a pillowcase. Um, now I'm going to tell you about the pillowcases. Hang on. Last year, my sister did this project, uh, and I may have already explained it to you. I don't know. You know my memory. But Child Protective Services, when they go to uh, take possession of a child, um... They usually have a black trash bag to put their clothes in or whatever they can take. And so in New Mexico, uh, they allow donations of pillowcases that you've made. It has to be brand new, you know. Um, but they will take donations of pillowcases, and then the kids can put whatever they can take in that pillowcase. Well... We called Child, Prote Child Protective Services here, and they said they don't do that, but they make love boxes. And they've got things in it for the child to have, like toothbrush, toothpaste, I don't know what else. But 
some things that can be theirs that they can take to the home they're going to and that they like to have pillowcases to put in there that they don't provide a pillow but uh, they can put a pillowcase in this box I'm gonna cry I you know my little grandson is six I can't imagine if strangers came no matter how well-meaning and how necessary but if some people came and said you have to go with us and he did not know where he was going he did not know the people you know if, if CPS was taking him from a bad situation I can't imagine what would be going through his mind he would be scared to death he would need something soft and cuddly I just feel so sorry for kids in that situation so uh, I'm going to make pillowcases as I can, and uh, I'm going to start with making my grandkids or letting them do it so we can figure out how to do it. So when I make them for these little kids, they'll be perfect. So if you're interested, you might call CPS in your town and see if that is something that they could use too. I just feel so sorry for the little kids. Uh, but anyway... That was my shopping trip for today. Oh, man, I could have brought home the whole store. I could have just told them, load up all this cotton fabric. <laughs> uh, cotton fabric today was on sale for $3.99. Uh, so that was a good deal. And thread was buy three spools, get two free. So I had them help me find 100% cotton thread. So I'm good there. And it's 1.30. I haven't done a thing but get up and go with Casey to take the sewing machine and then we went on to Joann's uh, so I've got to eat something real quick my son is bringing my granddaughter to me between 2 and 2 30 uh, my grandson has a birthday party to go to oh he is so excited it's at some place that I don't know some place that's a neat place so and then he'll bring Rhett after the party to me and they'll spend the night so uh, I've got some things I have to do before I get to my sewing but maybe tonight I can make another video I tell you as soon as I have a second that I don't think I have to do something else I will be sewing and making you a step-by-step -step video of how to do these bowl cozies they are so cool and they are so easy to do um, and it just breaks my heart that I can't make each one of you a cozy. If I could do anything, I would. I even sat down and figured it out. I figured um, with postage and the fabric, uh, on, on Etsy there's a bunch of people that sell them for $5, 7 and $10. And so I was assuming $5. And then, you know, postage is high. I thought if we had... Uh, had to pay five dollars to mail it to you even if I just did um, 30 of you that would be three hundred dollars for me and that might as well be three million <laughs> that just means the same to me so it breaks my heart that I because I want to send each one of you one I wish I could but I can't darn it <laughs> so you'll just have to enjoy watching me make them I guess but uh, and I'm not even going to try to sell them I, if I get the 12 made I want for family members and I I want one for each of my kids grandkids teachers for Christmas so it, that'll keep me busy through Christmas I'm sure but anyway I am so excited I've got some other projects I've uh, you know Kathy sent me that book there are projects in there I want to do um this is just going to be fun for me. Okay, guys, I hope you're having a happy day. Yesterday it was 104. Today the high is supposed to be 88. We'll take it. <laughs> but it's muggy. Um, that's all I know for right now. I'm so tickled with my fabric and that the sewing machine, we know what to do with it now. So I'm going to get up and vacuum and do some stuff around here and get ready for my granddaughter to come and I'll make another video tonight. See ya.